It's me advised. I totally don't want to die. Health readings are in the red. Hey, advised. thanks! Welcome back. So, were the God Arcs functioning all right out there? Not quite. They just stopped working for a little while. What happened? When the Aragami Horde turned away, it seemed like everyone's God Arcs stopped working. Rumor has it there was a power outage over the entire branch. In a manner of speaking. All Oracle cells in a wide range shut down temporarily. Something emitted a blast that froze every Oracle cell in the immediate vicinity. Anything that runs on them went down in a flash. A few Aragami just crumbled when the blast hit them. Their cells necrotized and they were just... gone. The origin point of the blast was right here. The only conclusion we've been able to come up with is that somehow Romeo's blood power activated to save you. Romeo's power? I so totally knew it was. It had to be Romeo. Then you all felt that same power? Yeah. It was the same one we sensed when Romeo died and Julius came back alone. I could never forget that feeling. Romeo's God Arc has been dormant since he... died. We've been trying to access it, but to no avail. And all of a sudden, this happens. You all unleashed your blood power in that battle. That might have caused some resonance with whatever power remained. You mean his God Arc is still working? It may sound strange, but it's almost better to say, still alive. It's gone dormant again, but there is power there. Still alive? A God Arc is essentially a man-made origami. It lives, it breathes, keeping pace along with its wielder. There is a chance, however small, that Romeo's soul still lives on inside his God Arc. But I... I have no option but to seal it away. It's dormant now, but if it awakens again, it could lash out. Another unseen power outage would be a catastrophe. I'm sad to say, but she's right. Romeo's power to repel Oracle Cell activity is dangerous at best. It could be fatal at worst. I swear I will continue to study his God Arc. I may need your help in the future. I know I can always count on you. We have news about the Spiral Tree. A tempest made of activated Oracle Cells prevents us from getting anywhere near the inside. Just as before, if blood can't find a way to do it, then no one can. Agreed. None of our control devices have nearly enough capacity to stop the storm. Could we harness the force you suggested in your report concerning the recent power outage? You mean Romeo's blood power? Potentially, I guess. It may be able to deactivate the storm cells. There's still so much we don't know about blood power. Who knows if we'll be able to control it? Who knows indeed. This is owed more consideration than... Thank you for your help, Doctor. Director, I... I have something to say, if I may speak freely. Hmm. It's the only way, isn't it? I didn't want to put you in that position. Target our god is slain. That's going to go rather smoothly. Well within mission parameters. Good work out there. That's all for today. Gills, call it in. Let's all have dinner together. Oh, 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 what do we have? Where should we go? Oh, I can't wait. We did all right today. Well enough, certainly. Pay close attention to your surroundings, even after the mission has ended. So it's totally safe to eat the snow here, right? Guys? Right? Guys? First, I must beg your forgiveness. These catastrophes that have befallen us all may be laying at my feet. I apologize. Still, there is a chance to fix matters. I cannot do it alone. I'll need each and every one of you. You have my thanks. To begin, we must verify all we know.
Dr. Rachel managed to deceive Cujo. She asked him to bind the Emeth device into the tree. The device awakened her. Now her will holds both Julius and the spiral tree in her sway. Once more, she aims to unleash the apocalypse. Unless we can rescue Julius, she will succeed. And that brings us to our plan of attack. Please, observe. As before, we will carve out a path and secure it with the control devices. Our main obstacle is the constant vortex of active oracle cells that guard the entrances. We believe we can use the same power that forced the Origami Mass Retreat to get past. The resonance from Romeo's God Arc attenuates oracle cells. It can even slay weaker Origami. Using the power bound up in his God Arc, we'll dissipate the oracle cells and enter the tree. We have no control over Romeo's God Arc. His power can't tell the difference between Origami Oracle Cells and our God Arcs. Livy does have control, or rather, she can. In time, she can bond with his God Arc and gain some measure of command over it. What say you, Director Sakaki? All of Blood will serve as a support unit for Corporal Livy, so she can give her complete focus to controlling Romeo's God Arc. Captain, as with Julius's Arc, your evoke skill may help her to draw forth some latent powers. I want you to stay by her side every waking moment. We will range into the tree, find the source of Rachel's will, and eradicate it. Once our mission is complete, we will find a way to save Julius. Only he can stop the apocalypse. Any questions? Romeo's blood power repels oracle cells. It shuts them down. It affects anything with oracle cells, right? So, God arcs and bias factors are just as vulnerable. Precisely. God eaters are not exempt. It is a perfect double-edged blade. If we're to stand any chance at all, it is with Livy holding some measure of control over his God arc. I can tell you what I know about the Emeth device. Upon examining Cujo's terminal, I discovered blueprints for a modified version of the device. It began as a form of the autonomous control system developed for unmanned God Arc soldiers. But it can do far more than just that. You see, the entire concept of the Emeth device was Rachel's. It was meant to stall Julius and recompile Rachel's memory once she was consumed by the tree. The team dug through Cujo's logs and journal entries. It revealed a mass of unreported meetings with Dr. Rachel. We're still sussing out the details, but right now it seems more than likely she abused his affection for her. Rachel was clever. She brought him into her scheme as a failsafe, to ensure that even if she died for the cause, an apocalypse would rise. Pull it up on screen. As you can see, Cujo secretly installed the Emeth device in one of our control safeties outside the tree. It was triggered or timed to release during the dedication ceremony. You all saw how that ended. I suspect the doctor's primary goal was to stall Julius, thus creating a path for Cujo himself to enter. His secondary task was to compile a device that would serve to reconstitute Rachel's will once he had broken free. Once deployed, it did just that, locating and rebonding what remained of Rachel. Once the entire construct was under her control, she was able to seek out another source for the apocalypse. A few final matters to attend to. We need far more than Fenler intelligence. HQ, the Far East, and Cradle, all are necessary. We'll need outriders in the tree, a secure base camp, and reliable supply lines. What say you? Cradle is well versed in building satellite bases. That should serve. Later on, we'll have Alyssa meet with the old man to figure out the details. We're facing a threat unlike any before. Thank you for all you've done. Time to begin. Hello. This is not exactly my area of expertise. <laughs> I'll take care of everything. Do you think you might be able to spare me some time?
I did it again. I'm so sorry. I promise I'll repay you. Mission was a success. Don't forget to pick up materials. With our current squad, this was bound to happen. I made cookies for everybody. Would you like some? Hey, instructor, can I ask you something about yourself? Just have to wait and see.
It's over. Thank goodness no one was harmed. I'm not one to look a gift horse in the mouth. Well done. I always crave sweets after a workout. I wonder why. We have a few moments. Now is the best time to collect supplies. Everyone has everything? God arcs? Materials? Trophies? <laughs> Just kidding. I hope we can keep this wind streak going. I can help. I'm sure of it. 